Hey, what's up, high rate virgin gang? Hope you're doing well. I'm doing pretty good. Hey, remember that Pikachu, that Pikachu EX SIR? I'm sure you guys remember the one that was going for a crazy amount of money. The first PSA 10 pop one on eBay for like what, like $14,000, $50,000, $100,000, $400,000. A million dollars? The sky was literally the limit because this Pikachu that everyone thought was incredibly mid and now everybody's gushing at and like sucking the toes on. Everyone on, and their mom is just wanting this card because this is the card of Scarlet and Vile. This is the card that is going to define the entire generation. Incredibly mid. It's got a very plain background just on a little piece of grass. Some of the other actual crystal hat ones are far better in my opinion. It's still an alright card. Take that how you will. I don't really care. But you remember that one. That pop one PSA 10 there's a higher pop now I think there's like 12 last I saw or something but it's getting graded it's getting around we knew it wasn't going to stay at $50,000 we knew it wasn't going to stay at $100,000 we knew it fucking wasn't going to stay at $10,000 there was no way it was going to do that right well it was addressed the actual person who was running that auction I did actually talk to them it was JNC collects I believe that's who it was that was actually talking about they were very nice about the whole thing they were able to actually remove a bunch of the obviously fake bids and they actually did end up selling the card for an amount that is still incredibly high definitely not that ridiculous amount but what we got right here is we got the final amount this card right here sold for it looks like it made it all the way up to three thousand four hundred dollars so the sales tax so that's gonna be three thousand seven hundred all them fees taking away all that stuff and then the gentleman did actually donate to charity 680 bucks from the actual listing went towards a charity very nice you big dog right there so all in all the card sold for three thousand four hundred dollars for that nice pikachu look at him right there ever since it has been selling for about similar amounts right there we had one that sold for three thousand one hundred about three hundred dollars less we had one go for two thousand eight hundred fifty seven but it was slashed through so they probably had a smaller amount they actually agreed to it's probably like maybe 2500 if i had to guess and then 22.99 so it is gradually going down in price for the psa 10s the first people who sell those 10s make the big bucks make the big money now me personally i still think that is very expensive for that car that's still extreme for that car in fact the what, what's it going for now like 700 bucks 800 bucks over on tcg player for the raw copy that in my opinion is still very crazy six up six to eight hundred bucks whatever it might be especially for the card that people really didn't at, at this point i think it's just safe to assume that the crystal hats are in and no one's really fucking pretending anymore they're like they're just all going like yeah we just like these bitches now we just all of a sudden like them and that's how it's going to be i think moving forward i think complaining about it or like addressing people with that and be like oh i remember i'm still going to bring it up because i don't want people to forget how crazy it is that people kind of flippity flop it on stuff but at the same time that's going on. That entire fiasco is going on. A bunch of other cards are kind of doing weird things. Has everybody forgotten about this card right here, the Umbreon VMAX? That sucker is doing some weird things right now, too. It's going up for like 13 to 1400 bucks. It's been steadily increasing. The Japanese equivalent, I think now, raw, is slightly cheaper than the Japanese one that last I saw. So that, that's kind of a crazy thing because for the longest time, the EV Heroes one, the actual Japanese alternate art Umbreon VMAX was selling for more. It was fetching a higher price. And it kind of just seems like the English market has taken over. I don't personally care either way. It's just something interesting to note about that whole thing. I don't necessarily know if it's always going to stay that way. We'll see Evolving Skies is doing some crazy stuff. People are still going crazy. People are still hunting for Evolving Skies. People are still hunting for 151. People are still hunting for like Sun and Moon sets. People are still going after Silver Tempest. Fusion Strike, you name it. People are still going after all that stuff. And it's definitely a time where people are going to be a little bit more loosey-goosey with their money right this second. Pokemon is definitely on the up and up. There's a lot more faces coming here. There's a lot more boots on the ground. A lot more people stepping into it. And a lot of people feel like this is a good place to actually dump their money into. A lot of people are actually going to start dumping more things into whether it's youtube content where they're buying a bunch of boxes whether they're buying a bunch of singles whether they're doing a bunch of slabs it, it's just kind of going to go all over the place right this second english is going to be a very weird thing for a little bit i'm not even going to lie to you i mean i've already talked about it a good little bit with the boom english is going to be doing some weird things for a little bit i'm not even going to lie to y'all like i'm not going to say it's going to be like crazy stupid wonky all the fucking time but it's going to do some weird things you're going to watch some sar or sir cards that previously sat for a long time time not really moving you're gonna see some of them kind of start creeping up you're gonna see some people kind of pushing more towards certain things for a little bit and you're gonna watch some slabs kind of do some wonky things as well as people start grading more of that stuff people start making excuses for english quality to justify more things and it's really gonna be strange watching how this stuff kind of rises it happened when the uh, sword and shield era 
It happened in the Sun and Moon era. It happened with a lot of alternate arts, full art trainers, and some of the older cards that people just kind of latch to. And it, it's going to be kind of strange. And some of the cards aren't going to make a whole lot of sense. Some cards are going to make some sense, but at the same time, I really wouldn't be too shocked if some of the actual like top pulls from sets further back start to climb up a little bit, especially if people can secure some PSA 10s in that English status. Japanese, it's still doing what Japanese does. I'm very happy about that. It's still pretty affordable for a lot of things. And I couldn't be happier about that. Couldn't be happier about box prices. I was kind of looking at buying some Surging Sparks box. I'm probably still going to buy one at least for the channel. But I was just looking at the price and I was like, man, this is kind of getting a little crazy. This is a, reminding me a whole lot of Evolving Skies from Sword and Shield. I think people, they're treating it as such. So therefore, it manifests as such. Not to be like one of those manifesty type guys. But at the same time, if enough people want something to happen and enough people are hopping aboard that train... Ultimately, this community and the footsteps in it are quite powerful. They can actually drive a lot of stuff. If people put enough things somewhere or they don't put enough things somewhere, things can happen. If people just as a unison decide not to buy something, it would overall affect the price. It would overall make sure things drop. And if everybody and their mom is just willing to pay whatever price is listed, of course, it's going to go up. Same with like the fucking one five one tens that are being resold. Same with like certain cards. The Pikachu, people are enjoying the hype. People are fucking really going nuts so butt so forth, at least on the money side of the house. And people that are lucky enough to pull it. And everybody else is just kind of sitting there looking at it like, man, I, I mean, it's an all right card. I don't know if it's fucking $700 all right, but at the same time, that what be what it be. I guess that's uh, the power set shall be. I don't know if it's a fucking $3,400 slab, but who are we to decide? We just live in the space and fucking swim in the same pool as everybody else. It's just, it's a little funny. It's one of those weird things, but yeah. $50,000 Pikachu sold for $3,400. Homie did donate to charity. It's very nice of you. Just thought I'd give you a little update on how the whole thing ended. It was definitely being shilled by people from certain discords and definitely from fucking Reddit. Just hopping on there. Little Reddit trolls coming over and having a good old time with the shills, having a good old fun time. Should have known when it got to 42669. That's uh that's usually this telltale sign. That's all I got. Appreciate it, version gang. See you later. Pikachu hype. Yeah, Pikachu's. Pikachu's everywhere. They're just I don't know. Everyone forgot about Umbreon and Moon Kitty, but not for long. Not for long. Not if fucking Prismatic and Terrestrial has something to say about that. Whew, it's going to be crazy times. Good old Storm of Bruin.